All right, CAD fans, in this video, we're going to draw a bridge abutment, much like what you see in the picture here. Notice the concrete footing around the bottom, the abutment, and we're seeing the wing wall right here, pretty close up. And I'm going to switch around to this back side and show you what it looks like from that elevation. So you see the abutment and the two wing walls. And that's what we're going to draw in uh, AutoCAD. So here we go. I've already set up several different layers, the abutment and wing wall, the footing, and the work layer. So we're ready to go with that. I'm going to switch to the footing layer and get started. So what I'm going to do first is draw the footing shape in 2D and then extrude it into a 3D shape. So we'll pretty much just start anywhere. And this is going to be from the center line of the abutment over 9 meters. So there's the front of that. I had to get out of that. And then I'm going to copy that. There's my copy. Oh, there's a copy tool. Uh, that object, base point, say there, up four and a half meters. So the footing is going to be four and a half meters wide. So there is the front and the back of the footing for the abutment. Now I'm going to have to draw in the angled part for the wing walls. And in this case, I'm going to make sure I have polar tracking on with the settings at an angle of 30. So I'm going to draw that at an angle of 30 degrees out. So let's go ahead and do that. Back to polyline, start there, and notice how if I just kind of put the mouse at about 30 degrees, I can use that polar tracking to, to do that. So let's go 9 meters out this way. And then move the screen a little bit. I can go 90 degrees to that, four and a half meters, and then back, and anywhere in there I could probably have it snap right to that line. Hit enter, and what I want to do then is trim that off. Let's go to the modify group. I think the trim is in here. Yeah, there it is. Select object, that one, and that one. And then right there is what I want to trim off. There I have half the footing for the abutment and wing wall drawn in 2D. I'm going to next take and use a command called pedit, which is polyline edit. I'll select that polyline. What I want to do is join it with the other pieces since I drew it in piece in individual chunks. So let's pick left click those other two, hit enter, and I think that should do it so I can just get out of the tool and there it is. Now what we can do is mirror that across the center line with this particular tool here. So I'm going to mirror that. Enter. First point of mirror line there. I can pick this other side and erase source objects. No. And there I have Two. I can do zoom extents, and there it is. I'm going to do P edit one more time. If I just hit the arrow key up, it'll go through all my recent commands. Click that one, J for join. Select the other object, and that should do it. Now that's all one object in 2D, of course. The next thing we want to do is turn that into a 3D. So I just moved it kind of in isometric by clicking the little box over there. Now let's extrude that. And we'll extrude this 2D object. And we'll go down one meter. And there's my footing. Now for the abutment itself, I'm going to switch to the work layer and put a line across the diagonal so that I can have something to snap to when I make the turn. And then back to the abutment and wing walls layer. And what we're going to need to do is set our user coordinate system to a face, meaning the top of the footing. So that's where we're going to draw. Just hit enter. So let's just switch to top view. I think that may be easier. Zoom in a little bit and start the polyline tool. 
We're going to use the from command to start from the center line and then go up 0, 0,1. Right. Oops, I screwed up. Escape. Try it again. From command. And then you do at 0, 0,1. Hit enter. And then we can go over the polar tracking. It's going to take me right over to that diagonal line. I can go up 30 degrees here at, uh, I think, 7.5 meters. Hit enter. Go over a meter. And then back to that line. I'm just left clicking my way around. If you want to, you just hold that down there and then move up, and it should. The object snap tracking should bring me right around. So there's that. It looks like I've lost my mouse. It's being weird at the moment. Just a couple quick hints. If you're trying to select things and you're not getting this selection box, turn on the selection cycling command down here. And then it should work like that, and then you can pick the different things. The other fun thing I notice is if you go and try to pick the UCS and you want it oriented a different way, you might start by going back to the world UCS, then the face, and it'll turn it a little bit. The other thing you can do is do the three point. If you want to orient it very specifically, you can actually just pick three points and it'll determine that your UCS based on that. Which is kind of weird, but that's the way it can work. So I restarted out a kid, got my mouse back, but now I see I've got a little extra line that I didn't really want. So let's use the explode. I could type explode command. And if I click on that line, it pops up and says, oh, which do you want, the polyline or the solid? I'll pick the polyline. And that should be it. I hit enter, and then that what explode does is separate all it into its separate components. So now, if I wanted to erase that one little line, I left click there. I want the line. Hit enter, and it deletes that one line. Explode is pretty handy for that. So to put it back together, then I need p edit, and I select the polyline. Again, it's asking me for the line. Yes, I want to turn it into a polyline, and I use Join, and click on the rest of the line object here. I think I can hold down the Control key and go for the individual pieces. Yeah. Let's see what that does. So that should have given me the whole line. Let's just turn the footing layer off for a minute. And then it'll be easier to see if I've got it. And it looks like I got close. P edit. Join. With that. I think it should be there now. I had to escape a couple times. Yep, there we go. So sometimes it's easier to just turn off some of the layers to, to make this work. We'll do the same mirror. To flip it to the other side. Select objects, enter, click there, click there. Resource objects, no. There it is. Be at it one more time. That one, join. That one, enter. And so there is my 2D abutment with wing walls. Bring it around to the front view, and we want to extrude that up. 5 meters high. So we'll do the same scheme. What did we do here? Okay, we gotta get out of that tool. Extrude. Select object. Enter. Up 5 meters. And there we've got it squared off. Now we're gonna taper off the tops of the wing walls. So let's switch to the work layer and work in this face. So that switches our XY coordinates to work on the face of that angled wing wall. Pick up a polyline, 
from this upper corner and move over, let's say, one meter, zero, zero, and then go, I don't think that worked. For some reason I'm having trouble with that from command. Let's try this again, from right there, offset at one comma zero comma zero and then taper it down we'll go out eight meters at 15 degrees I'll put minus 15 to make it go downhill then using object snap tracking I could pick that point up there and see for close so there is our polyline that we're going to extrude into the page here See if we can get this to move right. I guess that'll work. Sometimes it flips around like this. I didn't really expect it to, but let's extrude that polyline. And that's what we want to find. We'll just extrude it across, say, two meters. That doesn't really matter. Then we'll use the subtract tool to take the corner off of that wing wall. So I selected that as a subtract from. And now I'll hit the red one to subtract. That's the one we're going to use to subtract. Hit enter. And if we see if I can get this thing to work right. Yeah, that doesn't do bad. See how that tapered the wing wall on that side? Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other one while you take a break. Man, this video is long. I'm getting tired. Kind of like this old Jeep I had in high school. So we just have one more thing left to do to finish this first abutment. We'll put our UCS on the front face, rotate it to be looking right at it, and then do the same thing. We'll create a solid to cut out of the top of the wall. So let's do from, starting with that left corner, move over at 0 0.25, comma 0, comma 0, go down one meter, so 0, comma, minus 1, comma, 0, and then go, didn't do it, did it, at 1 meter, 270 degrees, we'll try it that way, hello, at 0, comma, minus 1, 0. Sometimes it's being really odd, but I guess you just keep working at it until you get it. So there we'll go to the center line, up to the center, and close it. And then let's just make a copy of that. What we want is the polyline. We've got the objects, hit enter. Base point, let's go from there. So basically, I set this up to do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to need to extrude those Go to my polyline do both of them at the same time and the extrusion is going to be let's look at the top not in that direction let's go this way two meters okay and then we should be able to do the subtract deal same way subtract from that this and that and in theory it did it so let's see if we look back at the front there it is we turn the footing back on turn it on we go and we could look at just an isometric here real quick there's one abutment uh, your assignment is to then mirror that to the other side of the pit of snakes or the uh, river or whatever you're drawing it over and that'll finish it that's good for now